Hi everybody, my name is Glenn Pewitt. I'm a policy specialist with the Michigan Land Use Institute in Traverse City. One of the stories I've been writing about recently is a proposal to build a coal plant that burns petroleum coke in Rogers City, Michigan. To try and see what kind of environmental impact these facilities have, I actually went to Toledo, Ohio and interviewed people who live next to a coal plant that burns petroleum coke. It's important to remember these facilities are not identical and in Rogers City folks are going to be living a lot further away from that facility but nonetheless these interviews will give you an indication of what it's like to have one of these plants in your community. Let's see what people had to say. What would you say or can you describe what your experiences have been living next to this facility? Well up until about the year 2000 it was fine until they built this new unit that's on there. Is that the petroleum coke? Yeah, the pet coke unit. And what's what's been the problem since then? Uh, dust, noise, ma mainly noise, then heavier truck truck traffic because the noise travels a mile, mile and a half away. Well, I mean it's not all bad, but a lot of it's been bad because I tore down my pool because I had soot in it all the time from the, you know from the smokestacks, from the coal burning, and uh, I mean when they when they blow off the steam out of it you can hear it almost shakes the whole house. Um, you know I just I don't think you know we need any more around here. I mean our lakes are already polluted as it is. Our mercury level is higher than it's ever been. Fish are dying. You can only eat so much fish a week out of the lake because of all the mercury. Have you been experiencing this? Well, I know I have to wash my house a lot. I always have to power wash it because of my white, you know, I mean, you can just see the stuff up here as it is now. And I probably power washed that probably, I don't know, about maybe three months ago. About 7 o'clock in the morning, you wake up and there's dust everywhere. Looks like fog. But it's not. And what is it? Do you know it's the ash? Yeah, it's ash, dust. I think it's the coal. There's problems with the dust, the smells. There's the semi trucks that barrel past my house. Um, you know, rattle my windows and my walls and the streets are always dirty and you get just a lot of mess. And it's not only a mess, it's probably harmful to us in the long run. Maybe not short term, but long term. We don't want any other contaminants around here. I have an 18 month old granddaughter that lives with me and I don't need any more harmful things to harm her growing up. Very noisy, very dusty. Everybody got health problems. Nobody's ever not sick around here. From steam blowing off to the shaking and uh, and dust even depends on how you know how much the wind's blowing that dust will carry clear down to the other neighborhood. What would you say to people in Michigan who are deciding whether to build a facility like the one that you live uh, not too far away from? I would ask them not to do it. Like I said, if you can do without it, do without it because I mean I know we need the industrial, but is it really worth your health 